Hey guys, Ash here from c 4 Tech, and in this video tutorial I'll be showing you how to flash stock firmware onto your Galaxy S5. So this could be useful to you in a couple of scenarios, either if your Galaxy S5 is unresponsive, if you're getting a lot of force closes because of some mod you flashed, or if you're in a boot loop that is, you're not able to get past the uh, Samsung splash screen, or if you just want to go back to stock to get software updates. So following this tutorial will cause your phone to lose all your apps and data. It would reset your phone back to stock defaults just the way it was when you took it out of the box. Before you get started, uh, I just need to make it clear that this method will not reset your Nox counter. It will not cause you to gain your warranty back if and when a reset of the Nox counter is available. I will make sure that I do a video tutorial for that. Uh, so just stay subscribed. So moving on. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you know what your model number is. So if your phone is still working, all you need to do is quickly go into settings, device, uh, I'm sorry, general, about device, and there you'll have your model number. If your phone is not booting up, if you're not sure what your model number is, you could always check the box. It will have the model information. So once you've got your model number, what you do is click on link one from the download section in the description. That would take you to this page. So over here, just download and install Keys 3. Once you've installed it, make sure you exit it. This is just for your phone to communicate with the PC so that it can flash the firmware. And then click on link 2. That will take you to this page. So from here, you just download Odin V 3.09, save it. So clicking on link 3 will take you to this page. So Oh, just enter your model number here. Sammobile.com would ask you to create a free account. So just create an account, sign up. It's free. You don't have to pay for it. Just uh, sign up and then you'd be able to download. So once you've downloaded the files, this is what you'd have. This is from link 2. This is from link 3. So right click extract both. So while it's extracting, let's quickly jump back to the phone. So you'd have to turn off the phone. If it's uh, on a boot loop, just pull out the battery, pop it back in after 10 seconds. Just make sure your phone is off. The capacitive lights are on. So once it's off, now hold down volume, home and power at the same time. Once you see this, let the keys go, hit volume up to continue. All right, once you're in the downloading mode, connect your phone to the PC with a micro USB cable. So you'd have to open up the flap and connect it to the PC, your laptop with a micro USB cable. So guys, now right click on Odin, hit run as administrator. So as long as you have your driver set up right, this would turn blue indicating your phone is connected. If it doesn't turn blue, it means you're having driver issues. So go ahead. Make sure that uh, keys isn't running in the background. If it is, exit it and then reopen Odin. If that still doesn't work, reboot, I mean, uninstall keys, reboot your PC, reinstall it and try again and this would work. All right. So now click on, uh, okay. Now uh, make sure that just auto reboot and dot reset uh, time are the only two uh, check boxes checked here. Make sure everything else remains unchecked. So this is the folder that, I mean, this is the file that we extracted from link uh, three, the one we downloaded, the big one. Now click on AP. Don't worry, it might take a few seconds to respond. So just navigate to wherever it is that you've extracted the file that you downloaded from link three, the one ending .tar.md5. Uh, that's the big file. So just select it so now odin would would seem to be unresponsive for a bit don't worry about it and also don't worry that it says i9505 over here don't worry uh it would work perfectly with the galaxy s5 so guys given a few seconds odin will, will be responsive again so uh another thing worth noting is sometimes instead of getting one file when you extract it you'd get a bunch of files but then again but then these will be pretty self-explanatory there'll be files uh, that say AP, BL, CP, and CSC. So you just select them uh, via the relevant buttons over here. So that being said, now all you need to do is just hit start. So this will take about five to 10 minutes uh, to complete. At this point, your phone would show a little bar over here uh, indicating that 
uh, the firmware is being flashed on it so don't worry it'll take 5 to 10 minutes i'll be right back once it's done so guys once it's done you'd see this blue reset displayed over here and your phone will start rebooting and you can also close odin we are done with the the pc part of this tutorial you would see this green android icon on a bar running across so wait for it to complete your phone will boot back up so i'll be back with you guys once the phone's up so we're up guys uh anyway we can unplug the cable because we're done with the pc part of the tutorial like i said so just closing the flap so guys at this point uh, especially if you're coming from a failed flash of any rom your phone might not boot you might still be stuck in a boot loop so if you are stuck in a boot loop uh just keep holding the power key till the phone turns off turns off or you can just pull out the battery uh and just give it about 10 seconds pop it back and make sure the capacitor keys aren't on and uh once the phone is totally off if you this this is only if you are stuck in a boot loop all right so in that case just hold up volume power and home at the same time once you see galaxy s5 displayed you can let the keys go this would now put you into android system recovery so there you go so over here just scroll down to wipe the wipe cache partition first the volume keys uh, will act for navigation and the power key will double for selection so now if you can scroll down select wipe data factory reset next it'll ask you for a confirmation so scroll down delete all user data so give it a few seconds all right once that's done now hit reboot system now and this time your phone will boot back up into android so I'll be back with you guys once we're up. So alright guys, we're up. So as you can see, the phone is back to factory defaults. Let's just run through setup. So there you go, we're up. And uh, the Galaxy S5 is back to stock, just the way it was when you took it out of the box. So just to show you guys, let me quickly jump into tap view. Go to general, about device. Um, status as you can see the device status is now official which means you can update software now all right i just need to connect to my wi-fi network all right so if the phone wasn't back on official you would get a prompt here stating this device has been modified and is not eligible for software updates or something similar to that so as you can see uh, software updates work now so i guess that's pretty much it for unbreaking or recovering your galaxy s5 from a boot loop or just getting it back to factory defaults for the sake of software updates so i uh, hope you guys found this video useful if you did go ahead show your support give this video a thumbs up and for more videos like these make sure you stay subscribed so once again thanks a lot for watching guys i'll catch you soon in the next one till then this is ash here from c4e tech signing off you guys have a great day Bye bye now